doesn't matter what kind of water you drink. I'm Gerald Pollack, and I'm a professor at the University of Washington and the medical school. And like you, we, we've been wondering, actually, for a decade about the kind of water that we drink and the kind of water that you drink. And in the process of studying that, we found something really incredible. We found a different uh, phase of water, a different state of water. It's not, a, it's not a liquid, it's not a solid, it's not a vapor. It's kind of somewhere in, in between. It has the consistency of um, like a gooey gel of some sort, like, like raw egg white. And this is the fourth phase of water. Um, this phase is actually not unusual. It's found everywhere uh, throughout nature. And most importantly, it's found in your cells. It fills your, your cells. Now, when you're healthy, this fourth phase water, your cells are full of this kind of water. But if your cells don't have enough of this water, then they're not healthy. And the question is, um, how, how might it be possible to restore this fourth phase of water in, in your cells to maintain your health? And what we've done is we, we've uh, actually created a micro-scale device to create fourth phase uh, water. Actually, it's patented. Uh, let me just show you an example of how of this fourth phase of water. So Mina here is taking um, a tube and putting the tube inside the water. Now, this isn't this isn't just um, a water. It's got we put a lot of junk in the water. We put particles, debris, what have you, in inside the water. And if you look in the microscope to see what happens, uh, here's here's what happens. You can see that all of the, these particles that are in the water are confined, constrained to the middle of the tube. And the outside of the tube, you can see at the top and the bottom, the outside of the tube is fourth phase water. And you can see it's got none of this junk. It's got none of the, the bacteria. It's got none of the toxins, uh, uh, what have you, that you might ordinarily, poisons that you might ordinarily find in, in your drinking water. It's free of that. So basically, all you have to do is collect that stuff, and you've got it. Um, the challenge is to scale up this device so that it can produce uh, a lot m more of this water to get, give a, a reasonable throughput, and that's what we'd like to do. You know, this, this kind of device can be really useful uh, for, to, to get drinking water all over the world where there's not enough clean drinking water. It's so simple. Uh, it, there's no filter. You don't have to throw away or replace any kind of filter. This works actually on the energy of the sun, energy of light. That's the energy that does the, the separation. And so it's simple. It could be really cheap. And in places where this stuff is really needed, uh, Africa, what have you, this could be potentially a breakthrough device. But that's not the whole story. There, there's something else. I mentioned to you that this is the kind of stuff that fills your cells. And um, I mentioned that if you don't have enough of this water inside your cells, then your cells are not working well. You're sick. You have some kind of pathology, and you want to restore it. So the question is, well, how, how do we actually uh, do that? And that's what we're working on. W we'd like to study the health benefits of uh, this kind of uh, water. We have great laboratory facilities. We got we got talented people all around who are really eager to work on, on this kind of project. What could be more revolutionary than, than finding a, a simple way to maintain your, your health? Um, it's possible that the fourth phase of water could be the way to, to do that. This is, this is the book that I wrote. And uh, this describes all the stuff I've been talking about, about fourth phase water. I hope we can work together in this effort for humanity to repair the world. Thank you.